All right, so we have done the other part, which is the, why the computer is so powerful, or rather the characteristics of a computer. But where are the computers being used? Where can we use the computers? Okay, the first thing first, I mean, I'll be giving you assignments, maybe quizzes at some point, for you to find the correct answers. I mean, for you to find answers to your uh, questions or any assignment questions, you will probably go on internet to look for information. So the use of computers first can be used in education and research. Computers have transformed the field of education and research by providing access to, va to vast amounts of information and resources. So computers are used for research. More especially in education, I'm teaching you here. What am I using? I'm using computers. Apart from teaching, also learning. You are learning this course, Introduction to Computer Studies, online, using computers, of course. Second, computers are used in business and commerce. Computers have greatly impacted the world of business and commerce by streamlining processes, enhancing efficiency, and expanding global markets. For instance, you have a business. For you to make your business be okay or nice, of course, you'd want to advertise your business. You go on Facebook, you tell people what you, you do, and of course, you have more customers. What are you using there? You're using computers. Healthcare. Computers play a critical role in healthcare, from patient care to medical research and drug discovery, electronic health records, medical imaging, and other computer related technologies have improved patient care, enabled re remote diagnosis and treatment, and enhanced medical research and collaboration. Let me take you back to 2019 when we had uh, a breakout of uh, COVID. Okay? People had taken research just, just trying to find out what that disease was till they found out to say this is COVID. Then they started researching which medicine or which measures can we take to fight this disease. Okay? Of course, computers were used. In entertainment and media, <laughs> almost everyone today, maybe after a class you would want to go outside to listen to a music or maybe watching a video either on Facebook or YouTube. That is entertainment. What are you using there? You are using computers. Computers have transformed the entertainment and media industries, including film, music, gaming, and digital art. Digital media creation tools such as video editing software, music production software, and computer-generated imagery have revolutionized content creation and distribution. Or maybe just in simple terms. You have, I mean, before coming to class or rather after class, you would want to listen to a music. You would want to watch something on YouTube. That is entertainment on its own. Okay, the other area is agriculture and food industry. Computers have increasingly been used in agriculture and the food industry to improve crop management, optimize resource utilization, and enhance food production. In transportation and logistics, computers are also used. You would want to buy something online. Mostly, I buy items from eBay, okay, or Alibaba. After buying, after purchasing, you would want to see, you would want to track how your product is moving up to the day that that product will reach you. So computers have transformed the transportation and logistics industries by optimizing routes, managing fleets, 
and enhancing supply chain operations. Transportation management system, which is GPS tracking, the one that I've said you would want to track the item that you, you buy from eBay. Okay, then autonomous vehicles and logistics software have improved the efficiency and safety of transportation and logistics operations. Another area is communication and connectivity. Computers play a crucial role in facilitating communication and connectivity in modern society. The email, instant messaging, social media, video conferencing, and other digital communication tools have become integral to how people connect and interact with each other, both locally and globally. Okay, so under communication, I'm sure this is a major part because almost everyone is involved. So you would want to communicate to someone. Which tools are you going to use? Of course, computers are being involved. So if it's by emailing your friend, emailing your, your colleague, I mean, you would want to use a computer. Facebooking, WhatsApping, all those are simply computers in operation.